and good afternoon folks war point three bring another video this time here we're doing the harbor freight four and three thirds no, sorry three quarter um horsepower belt and sander so sit back relax and of course enjoy the show i'm gonna have to rain down a godly fucking firestorm on you Okay, so let's get a good picture of it. It's the four inch by basically three feet by six inch belt sander from Harbor Freight. It's the smaller one and everything else that. So let's crack her open. Let's get her assembled if it needs assembling and let's see what it comes with. All right, now I might have to sit you down and everything else. Like that. Oop, try to pop this open. Oop, ripped it. It's fine. Okay. So let's see what it comes with. Uh, should have stayed on that side. Alright, comes with a plasticky angle. So you can get make sure you put the angles on here and everything else like that. It comes with a disc. So at least comes with one disc so you can actually operate it straight up there. So we everything off that the part that going. Okay, it looks like there's another piece right here so that now it's aluminum. It seems to be has a section that's been carved out of right here for that, so I'm not sure about that. Why is that like that? I'm just gonna get the camera white. Right. Okay, let's see what else is inside it. Like I said, this this um is made made of aluminum. It feels cheap. Again, it has a chip out of it. So we'll have to deal with that in a bit and so that. Um, but again, it's just kind of flimsy and everything else like that. So let's see what else is inside the box. Um, again, it's kind of hard to do with one hand and so that, but we are trying our best. Um, the background sign has basically gone away and so that because I decided to actually record this section from inside the house. So that way there, so that it'll be a little bit easier and so that for you to actually hear exactly what's going on, but you'll hear some background music. And, and while we're doing recording all right um again turning it around the sled so that way there so that you can get a better look at it so that now you will have times where i have to sit the camera down to get it out okay um now piece we take it out right now is the backing plate that is basically supposed to be um for the uh, the center disc so you know, that's supposed to be the plate that you put on the back of it to vacuum it out. Again, it's cheap plastic. It ain't gonna last but a minute. Um, it's packed in here pretty well and everything else like that. Now this right here is your stand for you to actually sit whatever material you have on and like that. Now the stand is a aluminum stand, um, painted black on most of the surfaces and everything else like that with some slots inside of it. You do see the angles on the bottom so you can actually position it to the angle that you want. Um, so if you're trying to get a 45 degree cut or sorry, um, grind on something, it'd be pretty well. Um, it also comes with a wrench and a Allen key for you to do um, some other stuff inside of it. Then from there, so that it's the sort of things that are inside of this. I uh, will have to check that out later. But let's see what else comes inside here. So let's see if we can get the big stuff out of here. Now, it's a problem, yeah, again, one-handed trying to get this down. So I'm gonna set your guys down, for, uh, set your guys down for just a minute. So I can actually remove the, the, the unit out of the box to make life easier. Um, I'm gonna throw the box down to the side and everything else and I'm gonna sit the, um, the unit down in front of your guys. So you can get a, a pretty good look at it. Okay, um, again, the unit itself, it feels kind of it's heavy but it also feels chintzy at the same time so it's it's like they did a couple extra things so that to, to if they would it would actually make it a whole lot heavier and better um now the cord itself and everything else like that it's actually a six foot cord um it took me a minute to get it unloosened so I actually do verify that it is actually a six foot cord. Most of the time, these things from Harper Freight come with a cord that's so short you actually always have to use an extension cord. But th with this one here, it's plainly a, a long six foot cord. The switch itself is very beefy and everything else like that. So it feels good 
flipping it back and forth. It's not something that you know when you've actually flipped it. And then if the switch actually goes bad, you can see there's two screws on either side. So you can actually replace the, um, the, the switch if you have to. The motor itself, um, again, the, the backing of the motor feels plastic. You can see the motor itself actually fits pretty good, but the screws that are inside of it are basically the casting. Sorry, the plastic, you can, see, you can actually see that the fit and finish is just wrong. It's like, like they took a piece of plastic off the shelf that was for a bigger unit and stuck it on this one here and screwed the screws inside of it. And basically it sucked it, sucked it in like this. So again, I know they make multiple units and everything else like that, so it's probably from another one. Now, the belt itself, the wheels, it act, going back for it does feel smooth, so it does, it's not binding right away. Um, I've heard people that it binds right away. Yeah, but the thing is, when I was actually rolling it back and forth, you can actually see that the, the bearing itself feels a bit off. Put a little plastic nub on it, but you can see right here when I spin it, I wish I could hold the camera a little bit more steady, but I can literally see that there's a, a little bit of a wobble once I'm rolling this around for now. Again, I'm doing it with one hand, is the camera's moving, so you can't really appreciate it, um, but it moves around. Um, the lever for loosening and tightening feels really good. Um, again, I was worried about it's gonna be some little small rinky dink lever, but it's not. The casing on this is so that it feels like it's basically 22 gauge uh, material. Again, it, it looks feels to me like they could use something just a little bit heavier in a gauge of steel to quit some of the stop some of the vibrations and everything else like that. The size of it you can tell is usually is using a bit more steel to it and stuff like that. So it's either um, 20 gauge or an 18 gauge like that. So the sides feel a much thicker. But again, this guard piece right here, that's this is where the um, housing is for the belt. It's really in a bad spot. Let's get some of this assembly done. So we're going to right here. You see me turning the unit around for that because I wanted to get it assembled and everything. But I didn't notice so that that um, I wanted to check out the actual tension on the belt itself for that. Um, again, you can change the tension on it, meaning that to change it from if it's not running completely the right way and everything else today, uh, meaning that if it's running off to the left or running off to the right, you can change that and everything else that. Um, at the top, you see that there's a plastic guard there that I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure what they were actually thinking about when they put this plastic guard on side of it, because it's, it's not on one side, you can see it's attached. So on the other side, it's actually not, um, so it's very flimsy right there for that. It just makes the unit feel, you know, again, cheap. Um, this is what I'm talking about right here. So that that's your adjustment piece to that. So you can actually adjust it around the way you need to. Okay. So like I said, this is um, four by eight by six in standard and the revolutions are 1085 for the belt part. And the six, uh, the six inch part is 18, 18, 1,819 um, revolutions per minute. So it's supposed to be have, a, again, a, supposedly a good speed to it and everything else like that. But when we get to the latest lead, you'll see that um, there's an issue where you literally can slow down the belt by pressing hard enough on this for that. But I'll have to just check that myself and everything else. So right now we're going to get to the assembly. All right, so I'm gonna assemble it like it's supposed to be. Now, right here, so that you have screws for the little plastic guard that's supposed to be, well, basically supposed to make the um, the disc surface safe and everything else like that, and also for you to use, use a vacuum and attach them to it. So I'm taking out the screws real quick, and just turn it a little bit forward, the forward, so you can actually see what I'm doing is for that. Again. I mean, they could have did this so much better if this part here was actually made out of, you know, even if it was, I mean, I know it's made out of ABS plastic, but even if it was a heavy material ABS that doesn't bend as easy and everything else today, it would have been better, but it's, it's not. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and then you'll see it when it's actually assembled. It's time to put the again so this one is for that now again right this piece here could have been so much better if they actually made it out of a steel steel but they didn't 
Okay, now to put this on here and everything else, I just want to show you. Now I have it all the way on, but I just want to show you the fit and finish of this and why. I mean, just look. You can see how out around that it is. It actually sticks out. The disc actually sticks out too far from the plastic. So again, the molding for when they made the plastic doesn't even fit the unit. So what's, I mean, if it's supposed to be a safety guard and everything else like that, but it doesn't actually cover the part that you need, it's basically no good. So it, you know, it's, it makes no sense at that point. So I'm just actually gonna take this, this thing apart, uh, that part back off it's for that, and then you'll see it with just the other part back on it. Now, taking the last screw out right now and everything else like that, and basically I'm just gonna toss it in the bin because I'm never gonna use it again, <laughs> never. And again, I'm gonna put the the other part back on for that. Now, again, it's attached by an Allen key. Um, just gotta rip it back real quick and, so that, and open up the Allen key. And then, you know, it's tightened down. You just gotta rotate it in place, get the Allen key inside of it, spin it. And again, you see where it spins at and everything. So again, if this was made out of steel, it would be, it would make the unit feels so much better it would have less vibration inside of it but it's not so now i have it on there it does free it does spin um, freely with the motor and everything else like that again you feel a little bit of resistance but it's fine all right so that's on there assembled now right now we're going to move the camera down and just want to show you what comes inside of the plastic bag i'm trying to readjust the camera for you guys for the sorry again sorry for the camera work and everything else today it's hard, kind of hard to do when you do it one hand i don't have a tripod to make life easier i do have a stand for it but still it's still not as easy as and what are you looking at right here are little plastic feet that sorry not plastic but little rubber feet that again you they could have done so much better they literally could have made it bigger and then this is actually the guard for the belt part and again, this is the other part to the mechanism that you're supposed to be able to use this to vacuum. But again, the port is so small at the bottom. What what, what, what are you actually going to do with that? What attachment would you actually attach to this to use? And you can see that it's, it's so messed up that when it was done, you can see that they didn't even cut it out completely. It's like that. It's just basically, soon, even if you could use it, it literally just would block itself off. So basically, yeah, no good. All right, so this is the part where I'm moving it over. So the end, then we look at the plastic guard um, for the belt part and took the screw out of one and took the screw out of it. Now the screws are barely inside and everything else like that. And I just wanted to see what actually went it on the machine itself. So again, turned it around. Now it's already something I didn't notice about that. This already, I mean, the camera picked it up, but I didn't pick it up. Guys noticed it too when I took the screw out of there. Cause I did not notice it myself. Now, right now, so that it, it's held on by a screw on this side right here. Now I'm going to put it on the way, assemble it the way that it's done here. But I know later on that I'm actually going to modify this because I already see a, a bad issue with this from off the jump street. When you need to replace the belt, if this guard is on this side here, that means you have to take the guard off, take the unscrew the top of it, you know, get a close up of it. See how it is? So you would have to take everything off to get the top of it. And then you can also see that the guard itself it's already bent. So I have to basically bend it back into place to get it so the belt won't rest on the unit. Again, if, if I tighten it down to exactly where it's at, it would literally have an, an angle to it that it would actually catch on the other part of it. So we're just going to temporarily put that inside of place. We're going to try, we're going to, try to assemble it the way it's supposed to be assembled. Now I have the screws in it and everything else to that. And I put the first screw inside of it you know, screwing it in for that. And then I notice, wait, wait, why is this not going in the way it's supposed to? Hmm, I wonder what's going on here. So I'm standing up and like, okay, wait a minute. I, I must have missed something. Something's not right here. So let, let's show you exactly what the error is in, near, near, in the, the setup. You can see in the bracket right here, one side, you can see this, that hole is all the way through. The other side, no. <laughs> <laughs> the hole does not go all the way through. It's like, oh, wait, 
how did they mess this up? It's a simple thing. You, you, you drill it all the way through and you tap the hole. How do you literally mess that up? You have one job and you fail at that job. <sighs> so suffice it to say, I'm going to put the bracket on here with a, <laughs> the, only one of the holes actually connected because this, you know, I would have to go back and drill a hole and tap it. And I really don't feel like doing that. And I'm that taking it back to Harbor Freight because this screw hole is not done. So one, one screw on this side will hold it. And then on the other side, we will tighten up the other one. Put the disc in place. Um, again, this is a peel and stick. So you peel off the backing and you stick it onto the aluminum and you just want to press on everything else that. Now, since you're actually going to be putting pressure on this and everything else that, it's not going to come off. Um, it's not going to be like, eh, it's going to fly away. No, they did put some, some adhesive on it that you can um, get it on there pretty well. And now you can see us assembling the actual, um, the angle piece on it. <sighs> yeah. Turn the camera on so they can get a better look at it and everything else like that. Now it is slotted, so once you put it inside it, it, it won't it'll be set at 90 degrees. Assembled, and I'm gonna put the angle piece in the middle. It just slides in. You just gotta pull it out far enough, slide it inside it, and then from there you can be able to, you know, set your angle in both in both directions. You can set the angle at the top, and you can also set the angle at the bottom. So there's two angles you can put on it at the same time if you need to grind something at a specific angle and everything else to that, which will make life grand. So you can basically do compound grinding. Getting everything set up, getting everything almost ready to go. And I actually have some grinding work that I need to do. So I wanna show you guys what it can actually do. So we're gonna turn it to the right angle and I have some steel stock, box stock that I'm actually making a shelving unit with and everything else like that. So basically so that the ends of it are rough. They are not exactly level. So it's like, eh. So I'm setting it up and everything else like that, turn it on. Now again, I'm uh, not having sound with it right now, so that I'll have a little section later on so you can see how loud it is and everything else. But for right now, I'm just showing you exactly what, what some grinding would do to get it. Now, you see it actually had a mark on it and everything else that. And I'm pushing on it as hard as I can. And then you're going to see exactly the results. Now, you can see it actually cleaned the edge completely, leveled it out completely. Showing you the other side, how knackered it is and everything else today. And again, I'm pushing it against it, pushing hard and everything else today. And I haven't, so the disc itself, I have not been able to, and no matter how hard I push at it to actually stop the disc from going. So again, just want to show you how level it is and everything else today. So we're going to get some work done on a lot of the other angles I'm going to do. And again, I'm going to do some, a lot of grinding real quick. So you're going to see a short montage of it flashing by with some music going so that because you see I have a lot of it to do. So check this out and watch the speed run of doing this. All right, folks. Now you seen the other section, everything else that I that fast forward and so that, but I wanted to get you um, so you can hear how it sounds. So that's how it sounds good. Again, it's vibration out from behind, but that's how it sounds. Um, again, everything else before this is like you just fast forward for that. So you have to your own ears exactly how it sounds and everything else. Again, I didn't do it did the, uh, the motion sound the other way into it because I didn't want it to basically blow your eardrums out, but that's the sound of it running. So. And you'll hear the rest of us talking about it later.
all right folks hopefully you enjoyed the video hit the like subscribe button it really helps the channel out for now this is what we're doing